Hello. Today we're going to learn how to access Edpuzzle. Uh, you're first going to have to be on the Moodle page where we are right now, Lockhart Tech Ed 7. And then you're going to scroll down to find the Edpuzzle section. And Edpuzzle will have a video post here, which is going to be this video. And uh, then you're going to have uh, their class codes, uh, Quint 5, 7A, and Quint 5, 7B. And knowing what the class codes are listed underneath each one for the uh, particular class, make sure you know which class you're in so you log into the right Ed Puzzle. Um, just to explain what Ed Puzzle is, is Ed, it is going to be your online learning for White Box. Uh, this is going to be your daily video as your step by step. It explains the program. It's going to be your class teachings and, and stuff like this. So it is very important that Ed Puzzle is um, watched carefully, paid attention to um, things like that. As you go through the Ed Puzzle, some of the videos will have questions that are embedded in the video, and the video will stop, and you'll have to answer the question to continue on with the video. So please, um, when you when you work with Ed Puzzle, please watch it carefully, and make sure that you are um, paying full attention. So as we do this, um, you're going to come in into Ed Puzzle, and you're going to click on the Ed Puzzle. Uh, link right here. So click on Edpuzzle and it is going to open up the Edpuzzle homepage. It should look like this. And some of you have used Edpuzzle before in other elementary grades. Um, some have not. So we're going to go all through the same step uh, of how to get on Edpuzzle. So we're going to go into the sign up section and we're going to click on that. It's going to give you option of I'm a teacher, or I'm a student. So you're going to pick I'm a student. Then it's going to have you, how are you going to sign on? We're going to sign on with Google. So you're going to click on that, and then you're going to find your school uh, email. Um, so make sure you have your ISD721.org email. Click on your school email to sign up. And then this page will come up different for people. It'll come up looking like mine, where it has a blue button in the middle that says join a class. Others may have it over on this side, a button that over here that says to join a class. Um, if you have it over here, it means you've already been on Edpuzzle for a different class. It doesn't matter which one you have. As long as when you get to this point, where at whatever your join a class button is, you're going to click join a class. Then you're going to enter that class code that was represents your class, either 7A or the 7B class. So I'm just going to enter a class code here so um, I can show you the rest of the steps. So once I go to click in the class code, I go find a class and then it'll come up and tell me, okay, this is school year 1920, Quint 5, and I happen to have to enter the code for the 7A class. Make sure you're in the correct group, correct class, and then I can join a class. Once I have the class joined, I go in here and then there will be videos in this section for you to watch. The videos will be labeled with a, in front we'll say video one, video two, video three, so on and so forth. The reason they're labeled that way is because uh, Edpuzzle does not populate the videos as in the order I want them. So you'll have to go through and watch them in order. And the only way I can have you do that is to label them with video one, video two, video three. And like I said, some of the videos are going to have questions uh, embedded in them that you'll have to answer. This is a graded section of your thing. So watching the videos, it is kept track of. It is uh, organized and the questions are recorded for right answers and wrong answers. And um, it will tell me if you've watched the videos or not watched the videos and stuff like that. And keep in mind, this is essential to understanding how to use the white box learning program that you are going to be uh, working with for this class. So please pay close attention to the uh, videos that are in here. And uh, please uh, understand 
what they say so you can get uh, everything done well. Make sure that you do a good job and um, practice um, focusing on these videos. Thank you.